Aniko at Night, Special Report. Pam Moody, World Clown Association President, said that they have created a press kit to prepare clowns for this movie. Is it hurting the business? What can we do to improve the relationship between man and clown? Bozo, Krusty, Ronald McDonald, all these clowns have been portrayed wrongly in the media. I'm Nico. I'm gonna make things right. Hong Kong, Hong Kong. Oh hey, I didn't see you there. I'm Nico. We're here at the Alamo Draft House for the clowns only screening of it. Let's talk to some people. Do you consider clowns to be an essential part of the American fabric? I think it would uh, it would fall apart without uh, the levity that the clowns bring us. Clowns are essential, is what you're saying? Yeah, they're essential. They're key. No. Okay. I don't think anybody was like weaving clowns in there when they're like, this is what we want America to be like. So when when they were fighting the American Revolution, did they you don't think they had clowns in mind? They weren't like, yo, clowns. This is what this war is for. No. That's fair. I mean, yeah, clowning is one of the oldest forms that I know, like, you know, entertainment for children and stuff. It's a serious, like, you know, career. Like, I'm not trying to make fun of it. If anything, we're trying to, like, you know, be a part of it, like, in any way we can. Oh, clowns are a very important part of the history of America. Yeah, because at least 35 of our 45 presidents have been clowns. <laughs> clowns have come from jesters back in the Middle Ages, so they've been around forever. Do you think that this movie is portraying clowns in a way that professionals may not find very kind? Uh, good question. I'm assuming most professionals don't like to be thought of as evil, so yes. And eating children? And eating children. Yeah, that's fair. Do you eat children? On my off days, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my heart bleeds for the clown industry, and I hope to God that they can recover from the bad press they're getting lately. I think holding heads like this definitely probably don't do the job that, <laughs> that we're trying to get done here. This is Trevor. Well, I think that uh, clowns get a bad rap now. I think that people are more quick to, uh, to fear them, and that's not what they're about, Nico. Technically, it isn't really even a clown, so I don't think that's very fair. Ah. So this is the guise of a clown to draw in children, but he's actually an alien. I could relate to the clown. Um, you know, it Kill children? It, well, some, some children are kind of mean. So what can we do to bridge the gap between man and clown, and do you think that this movie is doing such a thing? Um, I'm not sure if this movie does such a thing. I think that people, if they're scared enough times by what they fear most, they might maybe grow accustomed to it. I have a very close friend who's scared of clowns, and I like to take her to haunted Halloween things and shove her into clowns and dress up as a clown and it's horrible <laughs> she doesn't cry as much now so i think it might work is there anything you'd like to say to stephen king right now oh my god i love him i want to hug him and give him a high five <laughs> what about you jester love all those stories we'll continue reading them forever go to hell stephen king <laughs> uh, good job good job good job good job and i did a good job at this interview thank you a nation divided finally begins the process of healing one clown at a time we learned a lot here today. Thanks for watching Nico at night.